Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, we are going to be talking about why is it important to rotate your pots, especially for people who are growing the succulents at the windowsill, east facing windowsill to be more precise. Let's say the temperatures are very high outside and you are placing them at the windowsill and you do not have a grow light. So you're making use of that morning direct sunlight, which you get at the east facing window. Now over here, I have some of my graptos. These are my purple delight. And then I have another Graptopetalum paraguinis and then I have my Graptovaria bansi. So these are all the Grapto varieties that I have over here. Of course, some of them are a hybrid of uh, Graptovaria. Now, unfortunately, what happened is that, as you can see, these succulents are facing towards the camera because this is where they receive a morning direct sunlight for around two to three hours, which is not enough for them, even though there is a good intensity of light. But that was not enough for them. You will get an idea once I move the camera on the back portion of it. You can see all of these succulents are kind of bending towards that direct sunlight, which is around two to three hours direct sunlight, what they tend to receive. That's why you can see all of them are facing in that direction because they need more light than what is being provided to them. Now, unfortunately, I did not have much time to rotate them. That's why you can see they are looking very weird. The growth is very weird. They're kind of bent in one side. Now, if you have a situation like this or if you're placing your succulents at the windowsill, which is an east facing windowsill without a grow light, ensure you are rotating it probably once a week or once in two weeks, but do not do a complete turn very slowly. Just keep moving it a little bit, probably few inches. Just keep rotating it as and when you have time. So in this way, what's going to happen is that the succulent is going to get a good amount of light from all the direction. Whether it's a square pot, round pot, any pot is absolutely OK. All you have to do is just keep slightly turning it once a week and that's more than enough and in this way the succulent will not stretch it will be more compact and it's going to grow in a very rosette form unfortunately in my case uh, the place where it started to bend uh, the issue is there is a wall over here and i'm not able to get a good amount of light so apart from that the morning direct sunlight was only for two to three hours which was not enough for the succulent due to which it started to stretch now of course i will start to rotate them as and when i get time but as of now this is how it's going to look so if you have a window and if you're not rotating it, the succulent is going to face towards the glass or towards the window. And on the other side, it is going to look quite weird. It's going to look very crooked. So that's why it's very important to rotate your succulent. Not only succulents, any plant for that matter, if you're going to keep the plant only in one direction, most probably the plant will start to bend or it will have more growth towards the window side rather than to the place where it's not getting a good amount of light. This indicates that this plant requires a lot of light. So ensure you're giving a good amount of light, rotate the plant. A lot of times during winters, uh, the light is very less. So you have to be extremely careful. If you feel during winters, the light is very low at the windowsill, then probably you'll have to buy a grow light because otherwise uh, during the winters, you know, the winters are very long. So during the entire winter period, it will start to stretch. And remember, guys, once the succulent starts to stretch, it's very difficult for it to get into that compactness. You will have to go ahead and cut it because once the stem starts to stretch, you cannot again you know, revert that process and make the succulent compact. So in order to be on the safer side, buy a grow light if you feel that, you know, because you would be in a better place to judge. You would know that your house does not receive a lot of light during the winters uh, or probably generally even during summers. If you are a person who has a west facing window or a window wherein there is not much light, probably there is another apartment or a building in front and you do not get a good amount of light you would be a better person to judge. So act accordingly, get a grow light if you don't get a lot of light, because once if the succulent starts to stretch, it's very difficult for it to get compact again. In this case, for me, it would be still working out because they are only slightly bent. They are not stretched. Probably a little bit of the stem area that is absolutely OK. But again, for them to turn upright is going to take a very, very long time, uh, probably another month or two months. Uh, which is absolutely okay. So far, I will start rotating them. Uh, I had completely forgotten about them. But I do have my other succulents, which receive a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours. Here, as you can see, even they have a wall behind them, but still they receive a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours, after which they get a good amount of indirect bright light. Now, because the intensity of direct sunlight is good, even the intensity of indirect bright light is good. So that's why they are not getting crooked or they are not having this bent look they are very compact because of the good intensity of indirect but bright light 
apart from it getting direct morning sunlight. So guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.